were talking. I was talking in the in the uh, 954 little tease thing we did yes. a few minutes ago yes. about being a stand-up comedian. Stevie Ray is here, and uh, what he had me do last week, he sent over a script, and we taped myself doing a stand-up routine yesterday um, that he wrote, and he's going to come in and critique that. But he's mm. got a book out. He's got a book out. It is about what we laugh at and why, and he is here to talk <laughs> about that. And uh, very, very funny man, and uh, very interesting book because comedy is strange. I mean, we all find different things funny. Men, I women, young, old. I can't wait to see Rob do a comedy routine. I have to tell you, Rob is a very funny guy. And I didn't write the material you though. Didn't There's write my disclaimer. This. I just okay. I delivered it, and that's what he's going to critique more okay. is is my delivery. So. Okay. Still ahead, find out if my co-host has what it takes to be a stand-up comedian. Our very own Rob Hudson gets his art his act, excuse me, critique by an expert when we return. But here in Minnesota, sport is, is good. And welcome back. You know, humor is an important part of everyday life. The world wouldn't be a whole lot of fun without it, right? But what actually makes a joke funny? You ever think about that? Well, Twin Cities comedian Stevie Ray has written a book about how to be funny or at least know why you're not. In my case, it's called What We Laugh At and Why, and we are happy to welcome Stevie back to the show this morning to tell us a little bit more about it. Great morning. to see you again, Stevie. You too. Uh, it, it is a very, very cool book. Thank Someone you. like myself, I mean, who doesn't like to laugh? So everyone's going to enjoy this. Well, I think um, that some presidential candidates, but <laughs> it's not that kind of show well, today. Yeah, I, I know a couple of people, but how do you know really in life what is and what isn't funny? Well, most people will tell you. Uh, by their <laughs> silence, you know. Uh, the if crickets you, uh, chirping. Well. Yeah, if you ever have to finish a story with, well, I guess you had to be there, then there's you know it wasn't funny. Yeah, well, there's so much of that, too. And, and there's some people that are funny and some people that aren't, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I can't tell a joke. Like, okay. my, like, like you know, my, my friend's dad can yeah. tell jokes, you know. There's just some people that can tell jokes, but yet they wouldn't be a great stand-up comedian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, uh, there's a big difference between uh, real everyday humor mm -hmm. and, and the trying to be funny kind of humor. Yeah. And most of the stuff I talk about in the book is how do you bring everyday humor into your life rather than try to be a stand-up comedian because even comedians, we don't tell jokes. Yeah. Jokes are not really, they're, they're for a party. Every yeah, now and yeah then. exactly. But most really good humor comes from, guess what happened to me today? Right. Because it brings everybody in and it involves them, and we, we've all been through it before, so we want to hear your story so we can say, oh, I did that same thing. Oh, you got to hear when I did that. Well, uh, you tried that with me. <laughs> you sent a script here. You, yeah. this man wrote a sketch for me to do to try out. Because I've off, I've often been told by people, oh, you should be a stand-up comedian. I don't think I'm funny enough to do it. I don't have the guts, the courage to do it. But let's take a look at what Stevie Ray wrote for me, and I and let's I give you a shot, shot and, you, a and you critique it here. All here right. we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Rob. I'm co-host of the show, and uh, I grew up right here in Elk River, Minnesota. Uh, worked for a couple of years in Los Angeles, California, and San Diego, and then moved back, which I guess goes to show you I have geographical brain damage. No, but it's it's great to be from Minnesota. Um, one thing that I did growing up here, I played I played ice hockey, a lot of ice hockey. Um, I played in the USHL. Yes, these are my real teeth, by the way. Uh, I once got traded for a bus. True story. True story. They asked me to quit playing hockey um, when I wouldn't wear the uniform anymore and I'm not talking about the jersey I'm talking about the mullet another thing interesting about Minnesotans we we've kind of got a liberal idea of what sport is um, basketball is a sport football is a sport but here in Minnesota sport is is g dragging a shanty out onto a lake drilling a hole through the floor through the ice dropping a line down the floor uh, through the ice with a little minnow on the end and then sitting there on a bucket that's about half the size of your derriere for eight <laughs> hours and cursing down the hole yeah that's sport uh, speaking of which though um, I've got to get out of here because I bought my ice fishing house with one of those subprime loans, yeah, and I think right about now the bank is out there with a tow rope hooked up to it. So see you later, everyone. You've been great. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's critique that now. Well, uh, first of all, uh, we, we have to repeat that you did not write the material, okay? Uh, I wrote that, and, and it's very... No wonder uh, the writers went on strike. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and it's very unusual because uh, uh, comedians don't usually sit down and write comedy. It's it's very difficult really? to write it. Yes, it's almost impossible. You just there, wing it when you get out there? Yeah, you create it in the moment, and oh, then okay. you remember what works, and you build on it. Okay. To sit down and write comedy, uh, writers, some writers can do that. Dave Barry, the columnist, yes, is very, very good at man. that. Yeah. A lot of those people aren't good live, and the live people don't usually write. So for me to write material for you was one step removed. That was a challenge yeah, for you. Okay. From one step removed. Well, what do you? I thought you did a great job. Okay. Because what you did was you brought it to life. You you acted it out. The sitting down on the bucket and the staring down in the hole. That was good. That was great because okay. people need to live the moment you're talking about. Okay. If somebody is sitting at a party and said, "Guess what happened to me the other day? <laughs> I went to the store," and they just sit there and then they they mouth it all, you're not living the story. So you need to you moved around and you actually had a lot of attitude. And okay. that really helps a lot because okay. it, we need to see the emotion that you experience. But there are so many this. comedians that are different. Yes. I mean, we were talking in the, in the meeting before the show, Stephen Wright. He's yeah. up there and he just talks like this and that's hilarious. Yeah. And you got Sam Kennison, ah, ah! You yeah. know, guys like that, you got different. I mean, how do you find as a comedian what works for you and, and then sticking with that? The most important thing is to be yourself and that's what's difficult mm -hmm. for a comedian because you're trying to just be natural and be yourself but in the most unnatural environment. You're in front of an audience uh, and you're yeah. standing on I, stage. I don't think I could do that. It's I, a totally different world. You're burying your soul yeah. out there and then it is, it, it's almost like you're naked out there and people are laughing at your body. Hugely. And you have to be willing to be naked and that's an old theater phrase, be naked on stage. Right. To do that, a lot of people will come to me and say, Say, I'm really funny at parties and I think I could be a stand-up comedian transferring your funny from a party to the stage I think I'm smart enough to gap. know not to cross that line you're, Steve, you're, you're one of the few <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness for at least there needs to be more people like me I think right for your for your craft yeah thank you so much appreciate it you did a great, great job book. well thank you yeah. yeah I'll give you my number our agents can talk and That's we'll fun. do lunch right uh, for more information about Stevie Ray's book shows and classes log on to showcaseminnesota.com and click on the Thursday link we've created a link to Stevie Ray's website we're going to wrap things up when we return.